all my this lecture series in today's class we are going to stay about so what is the structure of c program with an example so every programming language have a specific structures that's like that the c program also have the uh, structure so in the structure contains that uh, first you should have a uh, in the c you have a documentation section and next we have a header file or preprocessor directive section and followed by we have a definition section and global declaration section then main function in the inside the main function we have the declaration part and the executable part so followed by you have a any sub program you are using in my program means you are using that sub program function in the followed by the main function this is the structure of c program now we will see what is the anatomy of a c program so the anatomy of a c program the skeleton of a c program means first we should have a, a hash in that is a header file inclusion section and main function is starts the int main that indicates that it is a beginning of my function or beginning of my program so followed by the open braces open bra open bracket specifies that the open braces specify that is the beginning of the main function so inside that you have a declaration and executable part of the program so followed by that main function is ended with the close brackets so this is a basic skeleton or anatomy of a c program For here we are having a example c program structures so this is a simple uh, c program that print that hello world in my console window if i if for that first we should have a in header file inclusion section so next you have a main function so any uh, the method the main function we cannot uh, the c program is start so there is a main function is that uh, that followed by the open braces and uh, that inside the function we have a only one function that is a print of that print the hello world in the console window so next we have a return zero because you are returning uh, our function is a return type is a integer means you are using the return zero followed by the close bracket this is a simple and uh, basic uh, every uh, c uh, learners start with that program so this is an example of the structure now we will see what is the uh, seven components of a c program i already i told that the first section is a documentation section so in the documentation section if there is any command or any um, user uh, indication sentences are in, uh, included in the documentation section and second is a preprocessor or link section uh, the preprocessor directives like header file inclusion and macro definition and uh, conditional compilation all these things can be defined in that preprocessor section followed by we have a definition and global declaration and function declaration these three sections are suppose in our program i am using that uh, function and variable is common to hold the program means that can be defined in that definition section so after that you have a main function the main function indicates the compiler that here the uh, program c program is starts so in that inside the main function you have a declaration and uh, followed by the executable statement uh, all the input output statements and decision making conditional statements all this is followed by the declaration so the main function is uh, ended with the close bracket and uh, followed by we have any user defined function are using means that can be defined in the after the main function this is the structure of c program so in that structure it is uh, this slide explains about uh, the seven parts along with an simple example the documentation section means you have a name of the program if uh, suppose what is the user who can be developed all these things can be uh, given in that command section so followed by we have a preprocessor directives so in that the preprocessor mainly we are going to including uh, any console input output statements or standard input output statements all the header files inclusion here that and also we have define any macro definition also uh, can be defined in the preprocessor directives so uh, followed by the preprocessor directives we are having a definition section uh, here we are defining hash uh, definition section also uh, start with the hash the hash define max is equal to 100 
now you are defining that max is equal to 100 means everywhere uh, in our program wherever we are using that uh, variable max that can be replaced by the value of 100 so followed by we have a global declaration the global declaration it can be for variable or it can be for a function so followed by we have a main function here the uh, C program is stars so the main function is starts by the open braces uh, so followed by you have a declaration that is a variable or function any declaration is there so followed by the body of the main function that can be closed by the close brackets so after that uh, that is an optional suppose in our program I am using any user defined function means that can be defined in in the uh, after the main function we can define after the main function or before the define uh, main function we can define that function definition so this is the basic structure of the program uh, this slide explains uh, that seven parts and what is a each part contains what is the description about the each part um, so this is the basic structure of C program I hope that you will understand so what is the seven components of C program uh, how it can be written with an example so in the structure uh, main mandatory functions mandatory statements are header file inclusion main function uh, that is uh, starting with the open and closed bracket so this is the mandatory section so other one is an option I hope all you understand thank you